has been building the city of Cleveland, expecting thousands of people to head downtown to watch the total solar eclipse. How about that? Yeah, mm -hmm. our Kara Cotton joins us now live from the Great Lakes Science Center, where people traveled from as far away as Argentina to check out the fun this weekend. Kara, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Danita. Listen, anticipation for this event has been building for months, and now the wait is almost over. Now, no matter where you are here in Northeast Ohio, the question is, are you prepared? Well, I've got some tips here for you ahead of today's big event. Here in Cleveland, the partial eclipse is set to begin around 1.59 this afternoon, with totality set to begin around 3.13. This whole thing will wrap up around 4 p.m., but if you're downtown, you're being encouraged to stick around. City leaders are hoping to avoid everyone leaving the city at the same time and creating a traffic nightmare. Governor DeWine activated the state's emergency operations center on Friday, and this center is staffed with representatives who are prepared to assist any communities in need. Now, the governor also asked that National, National Guard be on standby in case they are called in to assist. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll have the advice from the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department for families heading downtown today. Danita. All right, thank you very much, Kira. Now we're going to head on over to Avon Lake. They've been doing a little bragging. Oh, yeah, Dave, they're <laughs> bragging. They're promoting themselves <laughs> as having Totality's best seat. The city intersects with the center line of Totality. Yeah, and a huge watch party kicks off at Avon Lake High School in just a few hours. Our Kai Tor K joins us live from Memorial Stadium. Kai Tor, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. So Avon Lake is going to be one of the most packed places in all of Northeast Ohio to watch the eclipse. Avon Lake's Parks and Recs tells us that they're expecting people from at least 30 states and even from other countries, including Canada, Dubai, and Ireland. Now, they've been branding themselves as Totality's best seat, and they've got a pretty good argument for that. Avon Lake is right on the eclipse's center line, and we will see it for 3 minutes 54 seconds of Totality, almost a minute more than Akron. So it's no wonder over 50,000 people have visited their eclipse website. Their official watch party for the event starts here at Avon Lake High School at 11 a.m., but parking opens at 8. That's also when you can buy last minute tickets with a pair of Eclipse glasses for $25 while supplies last. And once Memorial Stadium opens here, there's going to be a whole slew of activities for everyone to get into, including big screens, live, live streaming the Eclipse, live music and food. And I'm sure many of you are wondering about traffic as well. Avon Lake police say that State Route 83 between Lake and Electric will be closed to through traffic for the Eclipse events, but Lake Road will remain open. And now coming up at 530, I'm going to break down in more detail everything Avon Lake is doing to make sure their watch party is one of the best in the region. Oh, all right, because they already think they're the best Kai Tour, so they got to have the best party. <laughs> That's what it is. All right. It is amazing. All yeah. the people that are mm. going to be here from so many different places. Wow. All right. Traffic is sponsored by Adventure Subaru, winner of the Subaru Love Promise Customer and Community Commitment Gold Award. Experience where you truly belong. Well, Kaitor already mentioned it there, but uh, we do have some traffic updates for you this morning. If you were heading downtown for the eclipse, get ready for some road closures. Want to start off here with a look around town. You can see some wet roads, so just be aware of that. But in terms of these closures, you're going to run into later this afternoon here. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is downtown Cleveland. Now, the closures are indicated red on the maps with no parking zones in the black. So route to westbound ramps, you can see up here closed at I-90. Alfred Lerner Way, Erie side, that's going to be closed from West 3rd to West 9th Street. Essentially, that is stretching from the Brown Stadium to the Rock Hall. And then east of 9th, north of Erie side, that's also going to be closed for you. As you can see, a whole lot of parking bans, no parking zones in the downtown area. And I also wanted to zoom out of downtown for you, bring you to the hospitals. See, this is Metro Health. You can see a big chunk of West 25th Street is closed. And on the other side of town here, UH Hospitals, a big section of Euclid Avenue closed as well. That's to make sure that just in case those emergency vehicles can get in and out of these areas with no issues. But again, I I think your biggest kind of sticking spot today in the afternoon is going to be this downtown area. So make sure that you are planning ahead if you want to come downtown to Cleveland. Danita.